we are going to look at converting a decimal to a fraction. If the decimal is terminating, then the process is rather straightforward. For example, if we have 0 0.34, then you simply write down the digits behind the decimal place and divide it by 10 to the power 2. In this case, 10 to the power 2 is 100. And if you have 0 0.2, 0457 that's going to be 457 divided by there are four digits here so the denominator is 10,000 but what if the decimal is non-terminating well if the decimal does not end in a repeating pattern it is impossible to convert it into a fraction such a number is irrational so let's focus on the case when the decimal is repeating. For example, say 0 0.12 repeated, which we represent by an overline. So this number is 0 0.12, 1, 2, 1, 2, and so on. So there's a trick that we can apply. We first let a equal to this number, 0 0.12, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and so on. If I multiply this number by 100, so I'm looking at 100 times A, what's going to happen is all these digits shift over to the left by 2. So I get 12.121212112, and so on. And now, if you subtract these two numbers, what we get is, well, 100A minus A is going to be 99A. And here, if we do the subtraction, everything to the right of the decimal place disappears, and we're left with 12. And so, A is 12 over 99, and that gives us 4 over 33 in reduced terms. In general, if the number A has the pattern 0 point something repeated, and say this pattern has k digits, we can use the same method to obtain that a is equal to the digit pattern divided by 9999999. So there are k digits. So for example, if I want to convert 0 0.0249 repeated to fraction, I can just write down 249 divided by 999. And if we want to write this fraction in lowest terms, we find the GCD of 999 and 249. And we'll do it here. So the GCD of 999 and 249 we're going to use the Euclidean algorithm. So 999 divided by 249. So let's list the multiples of 249. So 1 times 249 is going to be 249. And then 2 times that is going to be 498. And the next one, 3 times is, well, we add 250 and subtract 1. So that's 747. And the next one is going to be 6, 9, 9. Okay, so this is just under 999. And so 4 times 249 is going to give us 996 with a remainder of 3. Okay, so the GCD is equal to the GCD of 249 and 3. And now we can see that 3 divides 249 since 249 is 83 times 3. So the GCD of these two numbers is 3. So 249 divided by 999 is the same as 83 divided by 333. So what we have shown is 0 0.249 repeated is this fraction. But what if the number is not in this form, 0 point something repeated? 
So let's look at a concrete example. Suppose my number is 1.024 repeated. So this looks like this, 1.024444444 and so on. What we first do is to move this part up to the decimal point by multiplying A with appropriate power of 10. And since we want to shift the digits two places to the left, I'm going to multiply A by 100. So 100A is going to be 102.4 repeated. And I can now break this into 102 plus 0 0.4 repeated. And this is in the form that we can handle. So this is 102 plus 4 over 9. Our pattern is just a single digit 4, so we have a single digit 9 in the denominator. And now we can add this, so this is 918 divided by 9, plus 4 divided by 9, which is 922 divided by 9. So 100A is 922 divided by 9, so A is 922 divided by 9 times 100, or 922 divided by 900. And there clearly is a common factor of 2, so let's divide both the numerator and denominator by 2 to obtain 461 divided by 450. And you can actually check that this is in lowest terms. So this number here, 1.024 repeated, is the same as 461 divided by 450.